<laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, hey everybody, Michael Gebbin here, and I'm super excited to be with you on another Rockin' Wednesday. So I'm really, really pumped up today for all the new subscribers coming in, and they're coming in from a very special place. Uh, recently, I was in New Orleans and got to film, uh, or got to be interviewed by my great buddy, Alex Icon. And so for all of you new people coming over here from Alex's channel, I would love for you to leave a comment below introduce yourself, say hello, and uh, I'll record your little message and everything back. So I'm super excited to have you here. Thank you so, so very much. You guys rock. The people who've been here before, Alex's fans, absolutely amazing. So thank you guys for being here and everybody else. So today, I want to talk to you guys about something that, you know, every week these are, these are videos that are like, what's fresh? What's in my heart? What's going on? And so recently people have been asking me, you know, what do you think separates you from other people? Or in general, what, what separates successful people from people who feel like they're not achieving success in their life? And so for me personally, I've been using this analogy that essentially, I was just telling my buddy today, my good buddy Carmen, great, great friend of mine at lunch today, that one thing that I've learned that before, I think I've always kind of done, but I'm very conscious of now. And that's that idea that I'm willing to run full speed ahead into the wall and get knocked down, get back up and run into the wall again. Maybe at a little different angle, maybe a little different, but I'm still running that wall, get back up. And maybe I learned that the door was just right over here, you know? And maybe that's a little crazy analogy, but the, the, the gist of it is, is that ability to get back up, fall down, get back up, fall down, get back up over and over and over again, right? And just keep failing, just keep making mistakes, not worrying that you, you're not doing things right. Because to me, what I've learned is I'd rather quickly realize whether I want to do something or I like something than to spend years and years and years waiting for that perfect time, that perfect opportunity, because it never ever will come. And so for me, like perfect example, I held an event called the Rockin' Life event here a couple years ago locally. I decided out of the blue four weeks before I was gonna hold the event that I was gonna do this. Most people would think I'm crazy. Most people would say you need months to plan an event. Well, for me, I spent those four weeks hardcore promoting that thing and I almost had 80 people show up. I spent more time promoting it than I actually did on other things, but it went well. And to me, if anyone showed up, it was a success. That's another thing of all my videos. You know, I set my making something a success very easy. So instead of saying, well, I needed 300 people to show up and need to make this much money and do this and this and this, I just said, if people show up, then I succeeded because that's what I wanted to do. And I learned it was a lot of fun, but it was also a lot of work and it was difficult. And there was just so much to it that it wasn't something I wanted to do regularly. But instead of taking six months to figure that out, I just did it and then I accomplished it. And something else I could check off and go, boom, I did that. And I've had a lot of things like that happen, things that I thought I really, really wanted to do. And instead of spending years waiting for the perfect time or this to add up or the stars to align, I just did it. And so after recently getting to literally interview billionaires and millionaires, I've found out that that is a trait that all of them have. They are willing to be professionals at failing professionals at failing. Are you willing to be a professional failure? Are you willing to be a professional at making mistakes, not being right, being wrong? Are you willing to do that, to have the things that you want in life? Because I can tell you those people that you look up into life, they have failed, they have made mistakes, they have been backed up against a wall, they have run into the wall and fallen down, they have been beaten down more than anybody on this planet. I can guarantee you because it's not easy, especially anybody in the limelight, is not easy. Sometimes we have so much to live up to, right? So much. And it's not necessarily, that's the thing for any of you wanting to, you know, wanting to be is in the limelight. That's not it at all. But regardless, to sometimes have the things you really want and get out of the situation that you may be in, there's gonna be hard times, it's gonna be difficult, but I challenge you today to just go out and not just try, but as my good buddy Alex Icon said in one of his videos that somebody gave him this aha moment, don't just go and try, go and do. Take massive action towards things and not worry how it goes. Because I always learn from every single thing that I do. I always learn and that is all that matters is that you learn that you take something away from everything that you do and you'll get better each and every single time. But if you wait for perfection, you'll never get there because perfection is a disease. There is no such thing as it because what's perfect to you is not perfect to me and vice versa and all the way around it goes over and over and over again. 
So that is just something to get out of your mind. Just try and be willing to fail, make mistakes, and get back up and do it again because that's when you'll have greatness. That's when you'll achieve amazing things. Not when you wait for the perfect moment or the perfect opportunity. You can create the perfect moment and the perfect opportunity, as cliche as it sounds. So guys, go out there, challenge yourself today to do something that you've never done before and not worry about the outcome. Just know that you did it, you took action, you got some type of result and you learned from that and then you can do it again. And you're not waiting years and years and years and months and months and months to find out you didn't want to do that anyways. And so rock and roll, my friends. I absolutely, truly appreciate each and every single one of you. I say that from the bottom of my heart and I truly mean it. The comments, everything that's been happening has just been outstanding and so much of it is because of you guys. I am floored. My energy is through the roof because of you and just being able to deliver this and know that lives are being changed and not just from me to you, but you guys to others. And I'm pumped to see the results you guys are getting and just your lives being lit up. And if you haven't checked it out, I have it linked up here below, Geb's Juice. Daily Geb's Juice, it's an audio that I do two minutes or less. You can check it out on SoundCloud, it's really easy. I have the playlist and all the audios are below it. You can subscribe, you can check it out there. It's a simple two minute audio for you to start your day off, get it rocking and rolling. So uh, having a lot of fun there, that's all I've got. Please share this with a friend and uh, I truly appreciate you. We do this every single Wednesday, bring the fire to you. So rock and roll my friends, have an outstanding rest of the week and we'll see you next Wednesday. Take care.